Hey everybody, welcome back to Tatum Farms. Um, this video here, I wish I didn't didn't have to do it because um, this is this is the bad part of having a farm and having birds. Uh, the uh, last video I did was the guineas. We moved them into to the bigger pen. Well, they're not in that bigger pen no more, and I'll show you show you why. I'm heading out to feed right now, get some feed and take it to them. But if any of y'all uh, follow our Facebook page, you'll you'd have seen that um, we got five pea chicks. I've been really wanting them for a while, and so I finally bit the bullet and bought them. I didn't want to. The hardest part I wanted them, but the hardest part of buying them is pea chicks, which is a um, baby uh, peacock or peahen. They are expensive. So I'd, it took me about a year to finally finally bite the bullet and buy one and spend that money on them. And um, I'll show y'all what happened this morning here in a little bit. So let's get these uh, other birds fed and then I'll show you the what happened to the pea chicks. Okay, I'll show you the guineas here in a minute. They're, they're in this pen again. Um, well, they were in that pen. I had to move them back here. I put the guineas over there from the last video, if y'all watched it. And uh, we had 22. We are down to 18. We lost four. One of them decided to take flight and got tangled up all in that net. And um, so I got it out and ended up dying. But I lost um, three that next day and um, I couldn't figure out what it was because it was it was during the daytime well I, I came out and there was three dead so I didn't know what it was but by the end of the day I finally figured it out and what it was was crows I'll show you how they were flying in there and um, I, I looked up and they said crows are bad about getting getting small birds like chicks and stuff and even your eggs so um, I lost them to I lost uh, three to that. So I need to get that net fixed. That way I can put them. Well, actually I don't need to get that net fixed because we end up buying something else that ended up going in that pen. So right here behind me, I'm gonna build them a um, a, a coop and a, and a run and make it make it crow proof, and that way we don't lose no more. So it's just. Here uh, in the last week, it's been rough around here losing stuff. So they are in this pen for now. That way, nothing can get them, and they're doing fine. Um, they still got a little bit of room to grow in there. Not much, but a little bit. So that's why I had to move them back in here. They spent about a day in that other pen. So they're in here now, safe and sound for now, until I can get this other pen built for them.
it's pinned behind me. This is the uh, my um, laying hens. I've got a production red rooster with them. That way I can start hatching eggs. And another thing I found out, I found out this morning, um, our hatching rate wasn't very good on our incubator. And I finally figured out why I put, I finally got another thermometer in there and it was a um, maybe two degrees warmer than what it should be. So if you have a uh, um, incubator with a uh, digital thermometer on it, um, I recommend that you don't trust it. I've had to throw out a lot of eggs because of it. And so hopefully I got it tuned in and out and we will find out in about 20 days. Um, Cause but they've been in there, well they've been in there three days. So I'm hoping I got it tuned back just in time and we'll still have a good um, hatch rate on them. So let me go over the other pen and I'll show you where um, them guineas used to be and what's in there now. I end up finding a great deal on two hens. They are bronze turkeys. They are, um, they're, they're not quite a year old. And um, the lady, she just, she got them at um, like Trash Supplier at Woods, one of the two. And um, she just didn't want them no more. Um, the one, one of them got the, the feet that they, they turn out. Um, don't don't seem to affect her none, but um, they're they're doing great in here. I'm looking for a um, a tom now, bronze tom turkey, and I've been having a hard time finding one. Uh, I found I found one, but it was about three hours from here, and uh, I may end up having to drive a little ways to get a, a, a bronze because I don't want to I don't want to mix mix breed them, and um, I would like to stay with the bronze tom or a bronze turkey when we go to hatching eggs so um let me show you where the crows were getting in at this net right here may be hard to see that net right there the wind was was blowing blew that net in and them them um, crows were flying just right underneath there so i ended up losing three to it and one ended up getting caught up in the net over there you can see i need to fix fix my P pvc again so that's why i lost them and that's why i put them back over another pen because i didn't want to lose any more of them uh you know that net i was bragging about man my net's been doing great until one day last week it's been about it's almost a year old so i don't know once it gets to a year old it starts that's it i'm starting to break well it started tearing on me i don't know if you can see kind of it's down now we had about a 40 mile an hour wind storm come in um, here in the last week and it just it pulled it down so I want to fix that um, luckily these birds here they're big enough where the crows ain't messing with them but the crows are eating my feet so we gotta we gotta deal with them crows pretty soon before they take us over or we won't be raising no chickens we'll be just raising crows what it looks like so let's get these fed and uh, then I'll show you my pea chicks Turkeys are hot. They've been getting in that water. I was hoping to get a video of them jumping in there. Been getting in there to cool down, but when they're on camera, they don't want to cooperate and beat their sails. Uh, let's let's look at these ducks real quick. I ain't had no problems out of them, so knock on wood.
it's a little warm today and i don't like feeding in the heat um but with my work schedule i'll uh I, i've got to feed when it's when it's hot because if i wait till it's cool down i'm not here to feed and i don't want to i don't want to leave it up to my wife to to have to feed so she, she's not the one that drug in all the animals i am so I, I feel bad having her having her feed she did have to last week because we got a little bit of rain so that was kind of nice first of july and having rain usually don't get that much in oklahoma so uh we uh, i don't know what i showed you in the last video but i'm gonna show you it again just uh um if i didn't catch them in the last video I mean, they may not have been hatched. I don't know. Well, we got three chicks in the uh, in the well house, our brooder house, and uh, let me show you them real quick. They're they're growing and doing well. There's the boss. I've been out there sweating and uh, feeding everything, and she's been up here on the cool concrete. What do you have to say for yourself, Foxy? Bolt dog. Right there they are. Two white ones and one black one. As you can see, see that cover on there? That's part of the way on there. These didn't have a cover on. Them were on my pea chicks. And my pea chicks, they were right there. Were there? Now their cage is, or their box is right here. That's where my peach chicks should be. And there's a reason why them shavings are all pushed that way. So right now, I'm gonna play a video for you that I took this morning and uh, show you what happened to my, my peach chicks. This is what's aggravating because it had the cover on, which the cover was, it's actually an old uh, dog kennel that just took apart and laid on there. And um, was on them. I, I really, I should have been more cautious. I, I didn't, I put it on there that way they wouldn't fly out. I should have put something else on there. And I was actually going to go this morning to uh, get a cover for it and all this happened. So, um... Let me play you the video from this morning to show you exactly what happened when I came home to that happened about five o'clock this morning. So here it goes. All right, show y'all how my morning's going or evening, whatever. I just got a, just got home from work and um, came up to uh, check on the, um, the uh, chicks and pea chicks. I got some pea chicks so about a week ago, eh, yeah, a little over a week ago, and uh, we lost one the other morning, and I thought the cover didn't get put good on the um, tub, so I thought, man, that sucker probably flew out and something probably got it. Well, this morning, I parked my truck, and I was going to go in the side to um, grab a flashlight and start checking on everybody, watering everybody before I went to bed this morning, and but before I did that, I heard the pea chick holler ah oh, crap something's in there getting it and um this is what i find this thing was in there eating them and um there was only one left i threw it over here with the chick real quick there's three chicks in there he's over there you can see him kind of right there hiding out because uh he was trying to get him too and uh so i finally went her and grabbed a shovel and took care of this sucker um still moving some but that thing that snake right there just cost me a lot of money but at least i was glad i um got him I, I mean this top here that you see here it was an old dog crate i mean them they ain't very big you can fit about two fingers in them, so he was just enough to get through there, but he couldn't, once he ate, ate them, he couldn't get back out. So, but, took care of him this morning. He just cost me a lot of money, but the top, there wasn't a top on these chicks. So, these chicks, I'd hate to lose anything, but these chicks don't cost as much money as them peak chicks do. So, 
You know, having a farm and stuff, it's always it's always bad losing losing animals. Um, I've been wanting peacocks and raise them as from pea chicks for a while and I ain't done it because they cost me so much money. Um, that snake right there cost me probably not counting feed and everything, um, probably about $120, $130. So, it's just part of that. what you're hearing is my charger on the back. Run my hot wire. But, that's just part of it. I mean, at least I was able to save one, I'm going to take him in the house and uh, give him some special attention that way. Hopefully, hopefully that snake didn't rough him up too bad. But, at least thank God that I was able to catch the snake and he didn't get off with, uh, with the last one and the chicks too and everything else. And so, but anywho, that's how my morning's starting, so, or ending. So, hopefully everybody else has a great day. All right, that video, it's, I wish it never happened, but that's what happens on a farm. That's some stuff you have to deal with. Yes, there was stuff we could have done to prevent it. It's one of them things where I haven't had snake problems, and it's been years and years. So if you, if you don't have the problem for years and years, it kind of kind of get overlooked. If it's in the back of your mind that it could happen, but you're thinking, no, I mean, because it's... We keep it clean around here, and we're always in and out of there, except for night. And um, that's when it happens. So as long as you learn from your mistake, that's all that's important. Um, I'm going to get some uh, better covers made on my next days off. And uh, let, let me show you one thing, though. I was able to save one of them. So this little survivor right here is getting special treatment in the house. This is the cover I had over, um, over them. So um, the snake was able to get in, but once it ate them, it couldn't get back out of there. So he uh, he's getting special attention for a little while. You can tell he was a little shook up this morning when I was trying to get him out of there because I was trying to get the snake out. And... Uh, by myself, it was kind of, kind of hard to do with trying to kill him and saving him. So that snake went after him, about got him, but I was able to. I was blessed enough to at least keep him. So this video, that was the bad and ugly. I couldn't say good, bad and ugly. I get well. I guess I could because we through all the bad. There's still some good out of it because it could have got all of them. I could have lost more guineas and I didn't. So, I guess there is good in it. So, even through all the bad situations you're going through in life, whether it's on the farm, I mean, physically, mentally, spiritually, whatever you're going through that's bad, there's still good in it, and there's still good to come. Just because you're going through a bad season in your life doesn't mean you're going to have to stay there in that bad season. So, always look for something positive in every situation. This morning, you can ask my wife, I wasn't very happy. I wasn't looking for the positive. I, I was I, I was ticked off because we spent a lot of money on these birds. And uh, they're gone. I ain't getting them back. But he, he didn't get all my birds. That, that's, that's the good thing about it. I caught it in time. I feel blessed that I got home when I did because with my work schedule, I never know when I'm going to be home. I, I know the uh, the general time, I mean, but right now, I mean, I can work anywhere from 10 hours to 14 hours. So if I would have got home an hour, I still had a, one more hour to work that I could have worked legally. If I would have worked it, I probably would have lost all of them. So, yeah, I'm, I'm blessed that I got off when I did. And when I, when I, when I got to the porch right here, I was right in here. And uh, you can see that well house over there. I heard that pea chick holler, and I knew something wasn't right right then because it was still nighttime, and it shouldn't have been making a making a peep. Uh, but it was, so I was blessed that I I did hear it and still was able to save one. So through all the bad, there's still good in it. But um, 
I'm gonna do some more videos. I need to, my garden is looking, looking horrible. Right over there is my okra. And I'm gonna plant some pumpkins over there. And I'm gonna make you dizzy with the camera. We're gonna be pumpkins in here too. So there's gonna be good videos on the good stuff about um, having a small farm homestead. So this is just to show you what happens, what can happen, and just be blessed for what you have. So I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you subscribe and give thumbs up. Um, and share the videos on um, any of your social media because we, uh, we would love to have other people come along with us to um, be with us on the farm and learn on the farm, learn ministry. And uh, just remember, if anybody needs a free Bible, we always give away free Bibles. Me and my wife have Country Boy Ministry. And you can hit me up on here in the comment section. You can email us. You can um, get on Facebook, Country Boy Ministry, or Tatum Farms and message us there. We're always wanting to give somebody a free Bible get in their hands that needs it. So remember, we always have free Bibles to give away. And I will see you all on the next video. And God bless.